down. You are now fucking with Hoochart Radio. Yo, what up, We trapping out the bandwidth, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Fort Knox with a special report live Republican National Convention. It's going down. Melania Trump, did she bite the balls for Michelle Obama? Everybody was looking at the speech, but I'm going to be honest. Most people didn't give a damn about what the hell she was saying. They just was looking at her. I'd rather have her as first lady than Bill Clinton any damn day. But anyway, let's get to the controversy. Did Melania Trump steal the speech or has somebody in her camp plagiarized Michelle Obama's speech? Did Melania copy the speech? I don't know, man. I'm going to play both speeches for you and let you decide for yourself. And Barack and I were raised with so many of the same values. Like, you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond, that you do what you say you're gonna do. That you treat people with dignity and respect. From a young age, my parents impressed on me the values that you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond, and you do what you say and keep your promise. That you treat people with respect because we want our children and all children in this nation to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. Because we want our children in this nation to know that the only limit to your achievements is the strength of your dreams and your willingness to work for them. Now there are two key points in the speech where the CNN and all the major news reports are saying that it's 22 out of the 26 words of Michelle Obama's speech from 2008, which is really crazy because you, you would think somebody in the campaign would read the damn speech before she got up there or cross-reference it or go over it and say, maybe don't this sound a little familiar? But it just shows you how, how crazy everything is over there in the Trump campaign. So right now, we're going to see what happens. This is breaking news. This is going on overnight. We don't know what the response is going to be yet, but we'll do a follow-up report if it's something that gets a little crazier. The first night recap, there was a lot of drama early in the day. All the Stop Trump people got stomped out. They got kicked out the damn uh, uh, arena. People walked out. All kind of craziness. White people get crazy over politics, man. They may not give a damn if black people get shot, but they damn sure get crazy over them politics. So anyway, let me know what you think. Did Melania Trump steal lines from Michelle Obama? Did she pull a Jay-Z? Did she pull a Drizzy Drake? Is she, did the ghostwriter steal from Michelle Obama's ghostwriter? Because they all got speechwriters, man. Ain't nobody write no damn speech. Let me tell you right now, man. I ain't even writing this right now. It's about, about five people in the basement right now writing my commentaries. So let me tell you right now. This 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 just, just ain't a, bad, a good look for Trump, man. Whoever this is need to get kicked out on the streets ASAP. You're done. You're finished. You're, you'll never work again in this town. Oh, Trump, more than likely, he will just say, I don't give a damn. So what? We stole the speech. I don't give a damn. Let me know what's up in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. This is, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy, Fort Knox. Hit me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, all of that, at Hood Chart Radio. And let me know what y'all think, man. Let's get it. 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 Bitch.